Welcome to this short video on the 3D fillet command, which is part of the Kobe toolkit for AutoCAD. Currently inside Autodesk based products, you can't fillet a 3D polyline. If I look at this 3D polyline here, I'm just gonna grab it. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go into object viewer, and I'm just gonna show you the front view of this. So you can see in here, this is an elevation at 100, that's going up to like 150 and back down to 100. Okay, and I wanna fillet that, I wanna curve, a around that corner there. Now I couldn't polyline edit and put a curve in. What I'm gonna do is come up here to the Kobe Toolkit for AutoCAD. I'm gonna come over to the geometry panel and I'm gonna select 3D fillet. At the command line it says select a 3D polyline. So this is my polyline, I'm gonna select it. And then it says select your vertex or we can type in a tessellate all or mid-ordinate distance if I wanted to. So I can go M for mid-ordinate distance. And I can put in a mid-ordinate distance that I want to use. So I'm going to press enter. Um, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select this uh, endpoint there. And now it says specify the radius. So I can type in a radius or you have two options in here. You can have it put in the maximum radius it can. So basically starting here and coming on around. Or you could say half of the shortest line. So this line here, I could say, let's start the curve right here. I want to use half of that line. Or, in my case, I'll just type in what radius I want. I want a 45 foot radius. I'm gonna press enter. It's asking me to select a, a vertex or press enter to finish. And now it's just created this 3D polyline and with the curve on it. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then I'm gonna go into Object Viewer and I'll show you the front of it. And there you can see what's doing now. It is in 3D. I close that. And this concludes this short video on the 3D fillet command, which is part of the Kobe toolkit for AutoCAD. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.